All right, everybody, welcome back to the Hilltop Pillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. Here we are, uh, round two of our Global 1940 YouTube game. And we'll just give you a really quick flyby of the board, let you know what's going on. Still a couple U boats alive here in the Atlantic. Uh, Germans have a lot of tanks and mechs here, and a ton of men. I got 17 men there. But you can see the Russians have been procreating quite well here as, as well. So, not doing too badly. Of course, the uh, German contingent up north. And uh, bombers in Paris. The Italians have kind of taken it on the chin here, but they did have some fortuitous rolling last round. So, they still have a bomber and a fighter, but uh, all their ships are gone. And, of course, the Americans are going this way now with a British bomber down in Morocco and we also have uh, the next round of Americans coming oh these guys here were chipped out alright still got Brazil here under American control uh, the British building some stuff here in the south probably come and help out because the north is looking pretty empty not a lot of punch for uh, the Italians and with no no transports uh, looks like uh, Africa might not be uh, under Italian influence much longer. Uh, the British went over and took Persia. I will give a, a minor nod to the Italians for blitzing through and taking East Poland unopposed. There was nothing in there, but hey, good for Benito. Um, I'm playing FEC here, and that includes Anzac and uh, UK Pacific or Far East Command, as some call it. And so we've got some neat things going on here. And here we have uh, China is, uh, you know, as always, taking a, a dirty beating. But uh, they're, they're holding strong, holding strong. Um, Russians have moved back east to give the Japanese something to think about because there's nothing in Manchuria and Korea. So there's that to con contend with. Uh, the Japanese... Uh, have a little bit at home, but not much. And the Americans also built some stuff in the Pacific here, as it had nothing in the Pacific before. But brought a cruiser down to Caroline, and that's going to play into our next little turn. All right. So uh, here's the big Japanese uh, conflagration, and uh, yeah, it's convoying, of course, but just a max of four. And uh, well, what can you do? All right, uh, we are going to uh, show you our uh, moves and show you what we're going to be doing here. Oh, a couple of American bombers came down. All right, so you got a good idea of what's going on. And now we're going to show you our uh, moves. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, nine men is the purchase. Okay, so we have a few... Um, attacks here. So we've got three subs and they're going to go one, drop that guy off, two, drop that guy off, three, drop that guy off. Alright, and then we have these guys here. We've got a transport. He's going to come up, grab a man and artillery, two, three. Okay, so we've got a man and an artillery and then we have that there. Alright, I think that's all the attacks this round. It's not too bad, considering. So here we have a cruiser and two twos. So three and two twos. So with my dice, these are my hit dice. So there you can see there's three hits and three misses. Okay. So that's for the cruiser. And then we've got one, two hits, four misses. One, two hits, and four misses. We'll be using the same dice for everybody. All right. So here is my bombard and my um, artillery and man. Hey, that's a great start. Okay, that's what we call a cock dice. We always tap, so nothing happened there. This is my attack with my artillery and my man. His reply is no good, so we suspect he's gonna take the uh, anti-aircraft gun. And here's my attack, two misses. His defense, two misses. My attack, Two hits. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, two misses. 
So, the Japanese have been kicked out of the Caroline Islands and uh, will be, it's not worth anything per se, although it is an air base and a naval port. So we'll be putting on uh, our Far East Command symbol. I'll just take it off one of these guys here because they're just there. So we'll just throw that right like that. Whew, that was nice. All right, now we have the transports. They're going to die a horrible death. That'll teach you. All right, so they're going to do that. These are just out here to remind me to do stuff. All right. So, put those over there. We'll find a home later. All right, now non-combat moves. Well, not much going on here. Buddy here is going to come to Western Australia. Okay. And... Since Queensland is not quite under... Uh, threat right now. Um, yeah, Let me do this. And that guy to Western Australia. And then we have our cruiser and our destroyer here, who are both gonna head over this way. We're gonna head two that way. Okay. So we're now we're in C zone eighty with that. British transport, in case the Japanese uh, planes get any crazy ideas. I don't think they can get them from there anyway, but hey, nothing like some friends, right? And speaking of friends, I'm going to go help the Chinese out there. Put those two infantry into Yunnan. That is my turn. And uh, yeah, so the water to uh, India is wide open. Uh, into um, Calcutta and we'll see if uh, he wants to take advantage of that there are no limits there you go well tempting so tempting I mean why couldn't you I mean you got three transports you can go one two three why not why not head over there well maybe these nine fellows here would have something to say about that so there's my build nine guys all right, so we will now tell you what we got in each area. We'll start in Aussie land. So in Western Australia, we have a fighter and an infantry. In New South Wales, we have two AA guns. In Queensland, we have four infantry, two fighters, and there's two American bombers. Up in the Carolines, in Season 33, we have a cruiser, a destroyer, and a transport, and then we have an artillery and a man on the Caroline Islands. We have subs in 41, 42, and 44. We still have three men in Malaya, along with a UK Europe troop. In Season 80, we have a cruiser and a destroyer. In Yunnan, in China here, we've added uh, two infantry to the Burma Road. And, oh, sorry, forgot one thing. We we're going to put four guys there. We have four guys in Burma, which leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen men in Calcutta, two artillery, two fighters and a tactical and we also have three AA guns all right so I'm gonna pass the dice as it were over to uh, France I believe it's being played by uh, Sam Kenny and uh, yeah I guess I better tell everybody who's playing what so Sam Kenny's playing USSR in France uh, John Ulrich is playing uh, UK Europe uh, Dutch Lancaster is paying, playing the Americans. Uh, no Limits is playing Japan. Hunter Jones is playing Germany. And Corporal 24 is playing Italy. So we're having a great time with this, folks. Uh, this is still very scary. But uh, hopefully with a loss of three transports, that'll slow the Japanese down a little bit. And hey, No Limits, look at that. You going to let me hang on to that? Yeah. Aha. What you going to do about it? See if you're willing to... Come down here with a big Yamato and test it out. All right, folks. Have yourselves a great day. And wish the uh, the good guys, that's us, the allies, 
Wish us luck as we take on the aggressiveness of the evil Axis and Italy. Poor guys, they're having a bad day. Oh, very quickly, because my memory card is just about out, um, we have $20 in territory. We had $27, uh, but we lost Borneo, and we lost Quang Tung for 3 and 4 is 7. So down to 20 plus we're being convoyed by a bajillion things here. So we're going to uh, just do this. There's the four right there. So we're going to roll those until we got care of all the ships. But there's a sub in there and just a bajillion other things. So I lose $4. Um, so that means that I am down to, uh, so 20 over here. So 20 minus 4 is 16. But then I get a 3 bonus, so I'll have $19 at the end of, or at the start of next turn. All right, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.